Number 
hey, hey, if you still want this, do it now. Yeah. So that's why that there's that activity happening. And so, I mean, I, have been, I can't even keep up with my email anymore because it is just like hundreds of emails about the prairie dogs. I'm sure we're not killing them. I'm killing them. So, I So, that's, so if you hear from people, just let them know that that's, that's why that's happening. Um, and I think, you know, does anyone have any questions or did anything kind of pop up and you have questions for me about that? So. I'm, I'm glad to see the bill. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've fallen under some pills. I mean, they're dangerous and they have diseases. Yes. If they were ugly, nobody would care, but they're cute. They are too. Yes. Yes. You really do feel confident that they're not all being killed or gassed or whatever. So, this is where I think this is where the, the hit hinges. They're trying to collect as many as they can within this two week period. Right. After that, I believe they are exterminated. Yeah, and that's and what that's I mean. what, so we're trying to, what, I'm, a couple of us on council are, are interacting with David Bell and trying to find out how much, it's, it's, I think it's like 13,000. I'm voting on the number a day to extend the recruitment of prairie dogs. So it, it's a huge amount of money that if we extend beyond those two week period, it will cost the city thousands of dollars oh, a day no. to extend and collect more birds and save them. Well, thank goodness they're not endangered. Yes, if they, they, they were endangered, this would not be done. No, we would not be no, we would not have to do this. But that's, that, 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 I think that was something that, that came big that I thought, well, maybe I should share with the group so they can yes, all the people so I think, you know, unless you have any other questions for me, we can kind of move on. What is happening with attainable and affordable housing? Is there any news on that? So we do have a house pad, which is uh, going to be built over by Costco, and that is right. to address that middle class housing, affordable and attainable housing. Okay. So folks who, who make too much for, mm -hmm. um, you know, law on housing authority, law on housing, but cannot afford market rate, will qualify for this, the, the price range is to meet their needs. And they are giving preference to folks who work in Longmont, not necessarily city employees, but anyone who works in Longmont. Are they work out in the that? Are you selling them? There'll be sale. There'll be okay. some units that will be rentals. Okay. okay. But the majority of the housing is designed for sale housing. Cool. Yeah. How many so, units? Single sale, I think it was 85. Yeah. Is that building up for sale? Um, I do not. Um, I know that I think they're trying to break ground this fall and then, you know, it'll be here later. If you would like me to, I can keep my finger on the pulse of it yeah, and then yeah. send that information oh, yeah. along. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I can connect with Harold. He has all the. Um, yeah. Thank you. Yes. And believe it or not, one of the um, LHA, so the Longmont Housing Authority, uh, the actually the associate director now of LHA, was who our partner was when we worked on the. Um, mural on the garage of the Boulder County Housing Authority. Oh, she was yeah. on Huffman, yeah. Boulder County, yeah, the Kaufman, yeah. yeah. So she was on the Boulder County Housing Authority and now is working for LHA. So we already yeah. have that connection. Great. So um, I can just plug straight into her. Oh, that's great. Yeah. No, this isn't through the Housing Authority, though. Okay. Well, she'll, 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 she'll know. know. She'll know. And so that's, you know, depending on how House Pat moves along. Um, we have been in conversations with the district as well. They've been looking at that land, that there might be an opportunity for land that the district is not planning on building on, that we can work some kind of intergovernmental agreement to follow like the house pad model for middle class housing, where it gives preference to teach school to school district employees, classified, certified, as well as long uh, employees, anybody who works in so it, you know, it seems like there's a lot of problems there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Y
Thank you. Yeah. Number seven, shock art. Is that you? It is me. Um, so we had the shock art artists from this year, the winners, come in and do training with us last week. And they are all signed to their contracts. Um, are we timed yet? Everything? Yeah. Primed and paid and bugged. <laughs> So, yeah, at this point now, the new artists should be in their murals. Um, which, honestly, if you could send an email to them saying that they're primed, yep. that'd be awesome. Um, we have some really awesome artists this year. We have one returning artist, and then the other six are new to the collection, which is awesome. It's always fun to see. Yeah. Or have a surprise on the corner. And then okay. six. Yeah, six out of seven are long non residents. Oh, okay. So we have a lot of like local art. So yeah, super excited to see how they do this year. Um, just really awesome. Yeah, and they were very agreeable. Lara made a questionnaire just for some social media fodder and for some of the marketing things. And it seems like every single one of them they was did. agreeable yeah. to us contacting them and getting photos and video for when they are working. So um, just up in our game on that front. Wow. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> are the boxes spread throughout town? Yes. They're, they're kind of mostly north at this point, but there are also some kind of east, not turning really southwest because we had a lot last year in southwest. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's kind of like kind of hoverish. And then some near Hover around the twenty second Mountain View. Um, there's one that yeah, Pace and we have a map. Yeah, there's I not know. a lot in the southeast because there aren't a lot of boxes in the southeast. Yeah, I know. That's kind of the that's the blessing and the curse, right? Is the majority of them end up on major roads because the the boxes themselves are called pad mount switches and. They are in control of a very large city, a lot of neighborhood, right? So when one of them goes, the entire neighborhood goes, and that's actually why we can paint them, is because LPC, when one of those flips the switch, let's say, uh, there's a massive power outage, and the guys with LPC, the people with LPC, know exactly where they're going to fix it. So they're not looking for a green box. They they already know where they're going. So it doesn't matter if it's painted or not. A lot. It's a question that we get actually quite a bit. Is why don't we address more of the residential boxes, the ones that are in like people's yards? Yeah. And the reason is because when, especially at night, uh, if a residential box goes and it's just a couple of residents that are out. The LPC folks know exactly what they're looking for, and they're looking for a green box. If it's painted or looks like something else, they don't they'll miss it um, because there's thousands and thousands of those. These pad mount switches, there's only so many because of their um, because of what they do in proximity. So well, I, I think we did a pretty good job of yeah, the yeah. black ones are going to the new boxes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and then if you want to. To so if you guys want this too, I have it shared. So this is all of the boxes oh, wow. throughout Longmont too. So oh, goodness, cool. that's wonderful. Yeah, it's it's definitely <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, it's a yeah, lot. We're gonna have over eighty boxes in the collection once we're done with this season. Wow. So oh, it's incredible how many murals we have. Well, I said they started. I gave her a shop bar part tour. I said, okay. oh, look, no, I'm going to drive you around and change the shape of her box. I thought that was yeah. great. She, she was pretty impressed, actually. She thought it was fun. And I said, do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I like that they're very diverse. Oh, nice. Nice. They're nice. very diverse. You know, we have lots of different stuff. Yeah. It's not all rainbows or yeah. all well, we have rainbows. Right. 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 And we're one of the last programs to actually have artists painting boxes rather than switching to a vinyl method. And the positive aspect of that is that you have artists who are very well established and understand scaling, but you also have a number of artists that are early in their portfolio and are actually learning how to do that scale model and then uh, upscale. And you know, it's a learning curve for them as well as working outdoors and the different materials they're working with. Mm -hmm. So by us investing more in our artists, especially locally, uh, it's a benefit for uh, their work 
um, portfolio and, and in fact like their skill set. So a lot of communities have totally strayed and are accepting uh, digital renderings, just transferring them into vinyl. And while that's all fine and good, and of course we're doing it with images from photography, this is, we're special in that way. Cool. I'm curious to know if we have any idea how many of these large boxes are left. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. So we're like just chipping away at the mountain. Kind of. um, if you want to see, so we were sent a list of all the potential boxes we could have. These are the ones that we didn't choose the yellow. Those are just the ones that are going rusty yeah. uh, and we yeah, need yeah. to address soon. Yeah. Um, but that's not even... That's not even all that. Right. But yeah, those but are the ones like that of the ones that were part of... Like, these were all on the list. The black ones were the ones chosen because of just the location and also the severity of the, the rust and or graffiti that's on the box. Sure. Yeah, cool. But they do tend to be like if you're on Hover and you're driving, you will see them over and over and over again because that you know, thoroughfare just, just treats so much east west. Uh, they are fairly concentrated, I guess, on major roads. So. Yeah, so. Yeah, any other questions? And next year, you all can sign up. We have a shop our committee and choose which boxes we use. Which which winners are gonna go where? Yes. It's great. Okay, next box metals pop part one. Let's see if I can switch. Can we? Yeah. Can we? yeah. Let's Press see. The Press the button. <laughs> it's me. Oh, <laughs> no, except so Fox Meadows Park. Uh the the reason I can show you this today is because I received the contract today. It's on! Uh, it is it is signed by the artist. I have already talked to legal and I've already talked to uh, risk management and I have their verbal, so that's good enough for me for this. Um, so this is the artwork that will be installed in Fox Meadows Park. It is nearly 15 feet tall. The plinth portion of it, the footer, uh, let's say, is going to be subgrade. So you, in fact, will see the Let's call it stone. It's not a stone. The stone will be uh, above grade, and then the elk will be bugling elk will be on top. Now the bugling elk is made from uh, upcycled materials. So these ones that are on a roundabout in Grand Junction, similar work. Uh, these are fenders and um, I mean all upcycled recycled materials. So our elk will be something similar. So you can see uh, corrugated steel, different kinds of metal. So the uh, patina, if you will, is going to be, you know, different colors of metal. It, it will likely be most of this like rusty brown, uh, but there will likely be, um, you know, some variation of color. And then it has a substructure of tubular steel, which is fantastic. And the stone, if you will, will be tall enough that of little humans while they want to scale it will have a very 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 difficult time doing it so um, we're in good shape that way this is one of the examples of something that uh, the artist Pavia Justinian out of Fruit of Colorado has done previously and this is her let's call it sandstone um, the stone itself it is a tubular steel structure and they she uses a different um, treatment of, uh, what do you call this, insulation, foam, some strengthening epoxy, and then she uses cement color to come up with the, um, the look and feel. So here's the process image of her carving her, her stone, and then she has created this, um, I, would call it, I don't want to call it decoupage, but it's almost like a paper mache-ish with epoxy and um, uh, cotton towels. I think it's something that she has developed very much herself. So I would say, you know, when you look at this stone, this is obviously before the cement uh, and the stain, uh, it's going to look more like this than it will this image of a granite rock that's from the internet. Right. So the striations of color, um, it probably won't be that variable. Um, the, the different uh, variations of, of texture 
it will likely be a little bit more flat than have some of these ridges, but I think it's still very much going to read stone um, and it will weigh what it would if that was an action grain stone. So there's that. Um, this was an example of obviously a rendering of uh, Bobby had just pop, popping it into an image that I had taken of the space. Um, it won't be located here because we don't have to get an easement agreement with power, so that's not going to happen. I can tell you that right now. Um, but you know, just to give you an idea of scale, you know, if this is 15 feet and this is seven, a human height is about there, so it's fairly grand, um, and it certainly will will be a unique identifier for. Um, I would say that the community and the residents were very excited. Uh, it was not a unanimous decision, but that is always um, a good conversation too. And at the end of the day, I think that everyone who was on the selection panel felt very confident and comfortable with the decision that was made. So um, this is some ideas of how, in fact, the concrete footer is underground, and that's the hardware that's going to hold it all together. So. With that, does anybody have any questions about this Fox Meadows? When will it be going? Good question. So uh, they are grading right now. Uh, the park, as I understand, is supposed to be completed in the spring. The artist, since she has her contract with me now, uh, it'll go to the mayor and once the I get a fully executed contract, she'll get her first payment. At that time, I imagine she'll have the funds to purchase materials and start fabricating. An artist may start fabricating early on, but um, you know, it's not very, it's their choice. Um, so I would imagine that she said that it was about a nine, nine month turnaround. So we'll likely pour the footer uh, at a similar time as the um, concrete that's going in with the park, which is fantastic because that's a triple bottom line, really trying to take advantage of um, time and space and you know uh, materials when they're already on the ground. It also helps with our carbon footprint because concrete is in fact quite a heavy carbon footprint. So um, we'll try and, and uh, make it, take advantage of that. But I think it would be nine months. So if she gets working, if she gets working now, late spring, yeah, it's different. It's very different. different. Really, anything we have. Yeah, it is very different. This, was, this presentation was the best one I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Any one yeah, she was. She was. Super she was awesome. really had, and yeah. it was. We all were, and we all really, really liked her. The other proposals were interesting too. They were, mm -hmm. and but this one, I think we all felt really confident about working with her. It was very thoughtful, very well presented with a lot of information. Her budget was very excellent and detailed. She answered her question very straightforward. It was great. I would have felt, luckily, the selection panel did an excellent job. I called references and I would have felt comfortable working with any of the three of them. So we really, this, of all of our recent uh, projects, I would say this was the most successful with narrowing down to three very applicable, appropriate projects, um, especially for the budget and the site. Yeah, very exciting. So, yes, so I, I can say that uh, our friends in parks have already received some of the residents um, not being super happy. They're really excited for their park um, and they don't like how dusty it is when you <laughs> start, start constructing a park. So, um, but other than that, like the feedback has been fantastic. So, <laughs> So that's good. Yeah. Any other questions about Fox Meadows? Great. Where are we at? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Nature's way. Nature's way. So um, we did run into a little bit of a snafu on contract, and they're still going back and forth. But I got a note from procurement today saying if we can get the certificate of insurance, we're in the top. Conservator is taking responsibility for liability of workman's comp and those kinds of things. Um, we're going to be good, which is just in time because if we go too much further into the fall, we are going to run out of um, the weather being conducive to doing maintenance. Um, 
it's what it is. And the, the conservation company has been aces about it. Um, it's just one of those one of those things. And taking responsibility, frankly, for something that they know the work that they can do, um, the work that they have promised to do. But if the substructure of those sculpture is different than what they expect it to be, they don't want to be held liable for its damage. And so the city and I'm sorry, you know, uh, we have we have to be on the same page of at what point do they stop work and say this cannot be fixed, and then how much will that cost us? So um, it's been a it's been a progressive and. Um, positive conversation, but I think they're uh, protecting their interests and so are we. You don't think there'll be a problem with getting a signed contract? We have a signed contract. It's, I mean, it's the, or not, we don't have a fully executed contract. It's the terms. Um, I won't be surprised if we start work and not very much after we start work, we stop work. Huh? If, 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 if that structure starts falling apart, they're not going to not try to fix that at that point. And frankly, I mean, from a professional point of view, that's a good thing because it's not worth the money then to try and fix something that yeah, but maybe can't be fixed. So, so we have two items that the, the, the conservator is working with. If the trees are not fixable, they will move on to the fish. Yes. Okay. Yes. They are, so the, does everybody know which uh, um, objects we're talking about? In Southmore Park, just across the way. Um, so if you take Quail and you go west, it turns into Missouri. And if you keep kind of going down, um, there are two uh, pillars that have whirligigs on top. The whirligigs are kind of a reddish color, and they are kinetic, so they move. And the pillars are a. Uh, Salmon color. Oh, that's color. Salmon color. Band aid. Band aid color. And and so those pillars are of some sort of. Okay. There they are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so underneath that is a steel structure, but the the substrate that is on the top. Not only is it cracking. Um, and we don't know what the substructure on a, on a um, structural sound standpoint looks like. But then to add insult to injury, uh, right when we had agreed upon the price to um, conserve these, they got tagged, which was awesome. So now we have that layer of, um, of work to do, but the goal is to seal the, uh, the, the it's not stuck up but it looks like stucco so that it is not crumbling and falling apart and then potentially making sure that the coloring is similar so you can't tell where mm -hmm. um, those trees are. Made. 20 years? Yeah. 20 years. Yeah. 2000, yeah, I pulled it, I pulled it the yeah. 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 It's yeah. only, yeah. It's, it's not like the fish. Yeah, you can see. So the fish is the second part. portion. So the entire artwork, if you will, is five pieces, but each, Piece has different components. So there's the benches, which is three, but it's called one. Um, yeah, this is the, the fish fountain. It's called one, right, fish fountain, but it's three pieces, right? So this, um, fixing the mosaic, um, yeah, believe it or not, the fountain works and people who are walking along there actually use yeah. said fountain. So it, it's worth it for us to fix it. Um, but the mosaic, they'll fix the mosaic, they'll, um, Again, treat the uh, the surface treatment and get it back to looking as, as good as it can without completely falling apart. The back, the other benches are in really good shape, mm -hmm. and we would be able to do any sort of removal and powder coating fairly much in house. Um, and then there is an eye. There's a the eye spy thing. Yeah. 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 Um, and so when the concert, <laughs> it does not look like that. <laughs> so when the flood happened in 2013, I, be I believe that it was submerged completely. And there is, what did they call it exactly? There's biomaterial <laughs> growing inside of it. Um, Angela, I think that means black mold. 
and there are houses that about that and that's a thing to look through so the, <laughs> when so when the um, the task force looked at the if we had the conservation bids look at all to treat all of the different problems and this one is astronomical number one and number two is it responsible to put site things next to residents um, so it is still in place and yet again another thing that I feel confident that we in-house with our um, tools could go and remove and investigate further but um, we had the original bids break out each of the point each of the piece pieces as like an a la carte menu um, so the benches yeah those benches are in good shape that's two pieces the really big noodles um, so we're treating the two whirly giggies and then the fountain. Cool. And the cost is just not to exceed 16800 or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And those dollars are encumbered and in this year's budget, so. Okay, yeah. good questions. So I'll let you know Any other questions? the next time I'll come back and say, it's gone. Or it's gone. <laughs> or it's gone. <laughs> or it's, well, it, so just, one more point. If we do get to a, if I do have to come back to you, chances are we will likely have to investigate deaccessioning because if it's falling apart on the substrate, we might be in a point where it's structurally unsound and then it's not responsible to have it out in the community. Right? So, not to dead me down for that talk, but there it is. So. Okay. Now, on to our main topic today, maintenance. Okay, so I sent all of you an email with signups. New commissioners don't have any signups, so you guys got kind of a blank email from me. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the list. There are several that absolutely need assignments, and then some that have a first commissioner, some that also have a second commissioner, we ideally would like to have two commissioners on each artwork. If you happen to be out in the world and you see an artwork that's not on your list, but there you see something, go ahead and just do a maintenance report if you would like. The more eyes, the better. The more that we can keep track of all the different changes that happen with the artworks. So, yeah, if you have the time and you have the energy, like do it. Love you guys for that. <laughs> and also, you know, we ask that folks sign up for five to seven, and the reason is because then that, that, that encapsulates the entire collection. And you're volunteers, and we recognize that you have other things going on. Please do not feel guilty if you are not able to get to when we say, hey, can you visit monthly? Can you visit seasonally? And you have it. Please do not feel guilty about that. Just what you can, what you can do. Um, it is not, this is not intended in any way, shape, or form to make you feel bad, right? Um, but we, that's why we try also to have two, is because if one person can't, usually somebody else can. Um, and it's never a bad thing to, like Laura said, to have more than one eyes, um, a pair of eyes, a set of eyes on, on pieces. So. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, I go downtown pretty often, especially because we do different types of business. And so I'll just kind of try and hit all the different places downtown while I'm there. Um, and actually recently I found that there's a tree uh, stump sculpture that's next to Los Arcos. There's some nails coming out. And so I was able to be like, oh, this needs, you know, some attention. Um, and again, like I didn't really plan for it. I was like, ah, I have 10, 15 minutes to kill. I'm gonna walk around. So it's just always really good to not only familiarize yourself with the collection, but also just like, out there and make sure that everything is what it is. I guess Los Arcos just got tagged recently too. Today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So graffiti is like pretty bad. That too, that's another thing too is if you see graffiti, email us right away. Right away. And thank you. Yes. For yeah, everybody who has reached Unity. Um, Unity got hit and then he emails just on here. Unity got hit pretty pretty badly. Um, there's there's still some um, so I called Parks Superintendent right away and was like, 
please, please, please address this as soon as possible. Because of course it was over the weekend and they did a good job, but there's still a spray paint in the grout. So I let the artist know and he and I are gonna meet out there and see what we can do. But um, that's really bad because Unity is one of those that the Kensington community, I think up until this point, it's a valuable asset. And I think that they all were either children or their parents were around when there's been some pretty serious um, uh, heavy, heavy, heavy stuff in that community, and yet I think that there is an aspect of our of our youth that maybe they don't know these things, or they don't have relatives who are from that community. So um, yeah, we got some work Speaking to do. Speaking to that, where are we at with the QR codes to have out something like that, so that perhaps that's that educational piece for the youth? We're in good shape. So um, Laura and I have used AI to do some of our translations and we really can't do that. We have to have them go through our communications department and um, have them, and it's, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. So it's in the queue of them looking over our content and the contractor's on board, I bid it all out, manufacturing time is ready to go as soon as we have the blessing from communications, we're good to go. And the communications department is launching a new website this, this week. Yeah. So we're not their priority right now, but. That may help though. It's, they've all yeah. got the smartphones, so they yeah. might they help. Yeah. Um, and then of course working with, um, and our friends who are in community and neighborhood services and just having a really good relationship with them is so important. Yeah. So, maybe it's the point. Yeah, it's okay. important. It is really important. Um, and also, it's just like really lovely being able to discover all the different artworks around town. It's like one of my favorite things. I'm like, I want to go visit this artwork that like, I haven't seen. <coughs> it's like, oh, look at that. It's mm -hmm. like art. Okay, so I'm going to go through and I basically already have the previous people who signed up and I'm just going to confirm, like, Teresa, do you still want to do it? I want to stay the yes. where I'm at. Okay, would anybody else like to sign up as a secondary? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Eve, are you still good with the airplane? Yeah. Okay. Um, Danielle is not here, but she's going to stay with it. Do you want to, if somebody wants to go to the commissioner number two, do you want to do Yeah, sure. I'd like to do Great. Oh, sure. Right. Which you and I should talk about that. 101 faces is not 101. <laughs> but if you keep finding new ones. ones. But if we find new ones. Who knows? That is what you'll be looking at. Yeah. I, think, I think there are nice effects. I think that's about right. There's, there's one right over there. Nice yeah, there's one there. Uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll talk offline about. 101 faces, yeah. Um, and airplay is over at the rec center. Does anybody ever go over to the rec center? Yeah. Okay, great. Do you want to sign for it? Okay. All right. Along the river. Can you draw the lots out? Yes. Yeah. And Rogers Grove. Yes. Anybody ever go over to Rogers Grove? I want to because I hear that in the fall you can pick apples. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll pick apples. You versus squirrels. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Alphabet Farm, a little more from Mark. Anybody else? Oh, and and on it. Pamela's on it. Pamela's on it. Okay, that one's in bad shape, so we know that. Yeah. yeah. Um, bike Bath, which is Roosevelt, I have Cynthia and Jennifer on it. Uh, still live with that, Jennifer? Oh. Uh, 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 bubble Bath, yeah, bike, bike Bath. bath. Yeah, the Bike Bath, yeah. Uh, bike to Your Roots, um, which is the sculpture I was talking about with the nails earlier. Downtown on the breezeway. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 oh, Michelle. Okay. Great. I had it on my first time. Nice. And then you want to add Scott too? <laughs> Scott, you want that? Yeah, I think I just put it to wear on there. Great. Okay. Can I just um, yeah. a little aside here? Yes. Yeah. Um, one year, I selected like 12 or 13 different things all over town that I liked. Oh my God. It was a lot. I hardly said any of them. Um, 
it's a good idea to sort of think about where these things are. If you're going to do, like I'm doing Roosevelt Park, I'm doing everything around Roosevelt Park. If you want to do Rogers Grove, then do everything in Rogers Grove. Make a nice walk. You only have to park once, you can go everywhere. You know, if you go to the Humane Society a lot, do the Humane Society one. You know, it's just, it, with a little bit of thought, you can do all of your maintenance in one day. That's all. Okay, great. Um, also, I printed you guys out a piece of paper with name, QR code, and then a list for you to follow along with. I think it's more important for the new commissioners, but um, yeah. Uh, all right. I do it's okay. Okay, which is in the Clark Centennial Park. That's like Lashley and Mountain View. Yeah. We have a youth center. Yes. yes. Uh, Jennifer and Teresa. Okay. Um, brick sculpture, Nettie and Susan Horowitz. Uh, the Butterfly Pavilion, which is on uh, Macintosh Lake, Sage and Pamela, and then Dance Steps, Jennifer, and anybody secondary for the Pavilion That's at the Youth Center. It's in Centennial Park. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. No? Okay. Okay. Um, no, Dawson, Silverwood, Sage, Pamela, and then I'm going to add Eve, because she also has been checking. I can do Dance Steps. So, okay, yeah. Melanie on Dance Steps. Awesome. That piece was cons uh, had conservation treatment in 2019, so it should be in relatively good shape. But it's a lot of uh, tile th like this, so if there's damage, you'll know. You'll see it pretty good. Are there like arches and a mural? Yeah, yeah, through the arches. Okay. That's there. Yep. Right on the side. It's on the side of the building. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, the under the sea moon mural that's in the breezeway. I have Susan. It's downtown. Scott. Alright. And then Defiance, which is the Eagle. And that's Eve. Anybody else go near that um trailhead? trailhead. And it's on Is it close right now? Or? Uh, it's coming line line. 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 It's line. 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 No, that's not close. It's okay. No. Yep. I was okay. just thinking about screen. Right it's now. right off the way. Yeah, yeah. it's right off the way. Um, and then this one we need somebody to sign up for, so this is Details of Nature. It's in Rogers Grove, it's kind of along the river. It's between um, Isaac Watt and then. Yes. I thought we were taking, those were being moved. Yeah, I think that that's why no one has signed up for it is, so basically when they do the next, well, it's not funded, and who knows if it, when it will, when, when it will be, but um, they'll have to, <laughs> they'll have to let the river go back to where the river's gonna go. And so it'll be from, where are we now? Boston to Sunset? Yes, that's the reach. Um, and when that happens, those will have, those may have to move, but Listening Stone absolutely will. Yes. But seeing what condition that they're in, Susan Yeager's, or Jagger's, Jaggers, Jaggers, I think Jaggers, Jaggers. Uh, thank you. Yeah, great, thanks. I went, I went for a walk recently from Ice Walton all the way down to the Golden Ponds. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good walk. It takes in everything. Yeah. I would sign up for that, but oh my god, I'll never do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fair. Okay, um, early Longmont, uh, Nettie and Jennifer are signed yeah. up for that. And uh, anybody else? Early Longmont is uh, the archway at the library. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, Michelle. 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 No, it's not. Yeah. Michelle. Yeah. Early Longmont's on the ground. It's the one. Oh, that's the map. It's the map. It's the bronze map. The bronze map. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Well, you're obviously going to the library every day, so we'll just save that one for you. Really. Oh, yeah. Any, if there's any, yeah, I was going to say library that's located ones that aren't covered. I'm, I'm trying to kind of I have a couple preferred, but like then I can fill in anything. Perfect. Um. And then Echo at Kanemoto Park, which is like a dragonfly bike thing. Uh, I have Teresa and Melody. This one's kind of far from here. Yeah. I'm going to get to see the Tower of Compassion. Which is right. Oh, yeah. You want to yeah. do that? Yeah. yeah. Was that on the docket yesterday, Susie? Uh, the Tower of Compassion? Yes, it was. Did they pass it? We passed it, yeah. Yay! The yeah. one that wasn't pulled. It was a, a consent, consent agenda. Yes. Just so everybody knows, the Tower of Compassion, yeah. as of yesterday, 
is now on the historic preservation list. Yeah. So it, it had been a big question, like, is it public art? What is it? So historic preservation is where I I think it should be. So that's excellent. That's excellent. Great. Yeah. How do we merge? Great. Um, emerges on the extremely short list of means. Okay. Um, and then I have emerging hand, Teresa. So good. Anybody go to Sandstorm Ranch at all? There's like a baseball thing. Yeah, the two fans are involved in soccer. Yeah. Scott, you're good with that? Awesome. It's the hand, it's a bike, it's technically it's a like bike rack, but fingers it's like fingers coming out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's okay. It's real skin. Yeah. It's yeah, supposed to be a bike rack. Is that by you? Um, I have Feather Flight that Eve's been checking out. It's actually here um, in between the bike, or the Museum. Museum and the rec center. Anybody else? Okay, okay. Um, Jenny, okay. Great. Thank you, Jenny. Um, first teacher, which is near the library, and it's the two girls reading the book. Mm -hmm. yep. Michelle Michelle. Who puts up flower vases there? Yeah. Yes, yeah, they I do. do. I've removed them okay. a lot of times. Cool. Yeah, I leave them. I'm like, I know, I'm they have commitment. Like, I'm good with it too. So you like it too. They just kind of, they it look sad. They look sad. Yeah, well, sometimes, yeah, they're definitely yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if they're new, yeah. Yeah, keep them. Uh, Florida Lano, I have Jennifer and Teresa on that. That's the big V. All right. Um, Which looks fabulous now they've cleaned it up. I know, it's really good. Fabulous. And, and, and the solar lights work. And, and they're working. I know, they put that in. They put that in. They put that in. Right. They put that A down or whatever. Oh, yes. It's great. Gorgeous. I sent the Parks Department a tip of the cap. I agree. Tom, thank you. I took a long I will time. Again. I will send another note. Please. Mm -hmm. um, so we have Flying Trees in Moonlow Park, and Pamela has been checking on it, and then also Susan Orbitz. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um, free for All, Teresa has been checking on it. That's a bronze sculpture with a bunch of boys kind of tumbling. Yeah. Oh, I know. I like to walks. I think it's gardeners. Gardeners. It's gardeners. I don't think it is reading. It's gardeners. It's gardeners. Reading is what might say in my brain and then start singing. It's not that. It's gardeners. Uh, and in fact, when you go next to that one, the tree, which when it was originally put in, was this tall, and now it's, you know, 30 feet tall, so I think that um, it'll be a part of the bronze treatment this fall, but it might be sappy, mm -hmm. um, yes, and is. then depend, it's not very visible, and it might be one of those, sometime we need to know. When I first looked at it, I couldn't, I, I kept going, but it's right here, it's supposed to be at 18th of yeah. whatever it was, and I couldn't find it, and then I went, oh! It's covered, it's, and it really, the tree was just like see it. all over it. It's so funny it's because the other side of that entryway, yeah, and up the hill, it's pretty clear. I know. That might be something we yeah. um, talk about. I'm going to take this because it's actually inside of a structure that's not very accessible. If anybody um, has any classes at the Isaac Walton Clubhouse, which is going open. to stay open when the Army Corps is doing their work. So oh, oh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. um, Okay. Did you say it is or is it? It, it? it is, but when I say open, open means there's a scheduled program and somebody comes and unlocks the door yeah, okay. and it's open and then when so the program's over, it's locked. So so it's how, how, how it is now. It's, it's how it is. Yeah, it's how it is now. But they're not, they're not getting rid of it, so that's good. Yeah. yeah, so I'll take it if no one else wants to do that. Okay. Um, what is it? It's the, the carving of the buffalo head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's I, inside, I, though. I used to do my Jimmy drumming there, and it, it was in great shape. <laughs> and they even invested it and stuff, so that was really nice. It's missing a sign. It's what? Missing a sign. Um, it is missing a sign now? Oh, there's no signs. Um, and then I have Betty and Danielle on gazebo. Um, anybody you want to live near? Uh, oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll take that with you. We also have a resident keeping a really nice eye on it. So yeah, she, she looks like, I mean, her house is like, yeah, right she's there. like right there. Um, and then Golden Days, uh, which is the sculpture in Golden Ponds of the two, the grandfather and the boy fishing. And I know Susan Horowitz on that. 
Sure. So then, okay. You're supposed to be a fishing pole. There's never a fishing pole. Oh. Whenever you put a fishing pole back to somebody's yes. camp spot, it yes. just doesn't have a fishing pole. Yes, yes. doesn't have a fishing pole. Um, um, it it just doesn't have a fishing pole. And then Golden Horns Guardian, I have Pamela and Susan Morwitz also on that. So it's, yeah. Um, Great Blue Herons, Iris is checking in on that. And she's not here, but she's going to be signed up for the same thing. So anybody golf, Scott, golf? I have a golf course, Great Blue Herons. Awesome. Thanks, Scott. Do you, do you see those still yeah, very often? Yeah. I haven't seen a ball over there. <laughs> so that means you're a good golfer. <laughs> 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 Um, and then we have the Happy Tree mural that is near Hover and Ken Pratt. And Sage has been checking on it. And it's not as far out of the way for me. Like this you don't want to do it? Okay. Yeah, like when I was going to school there, it was right there. It was, yeah. Now it's like completely across town. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yes, thank you. I just need to know where. Yeah, no, so I can see it. Is it the Oscar Blues parking lot? Yes. At the sort of far north end. It goes around the underpass that goes under. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of the new commissioners, when we when we get done with this, we will send you your list and we will send you locations <laughs> and images so you know what you're looking for. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the new website, but our, our current website has pictures of most of them, which is helpful. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and then so heart to hand, which is senior centers. I do um, outreach at the senior center. Sweet. Okay. And that bed is going to be revamped by Parks, and we've already talked about it. So the the flower bed around it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we don't have to move it. They're going to work around it. It's not that big. I mean, the flower bed is not that big. They're going to make it back. And it's going to be annuals. Maybe roses. Because the giant rose garden is just, you know, awesome. I'm not joking, but it's going to be lovely in the movie. Okay. I think Eve is probably good on that. Yes. Yeah. Eve, Eve, okay. you're good with the, uh, the sandblasted glass piece that's still here. Uh, yeah, it's easy because you can't really see because there's so much light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then the Journey, which is also Senior Center. Do you want to take on the Journey? Yeah. yeah. It's um, the the birds and flight right in front. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen those? Yes, you have to go like, it's two or it is? Yeah. Okay, when you're, <laughs> when you're standing outside the portico that goes to the front door, mm -hmm. yep. if you look to your right, there's like a little, there's a, you can see the birds and there's sort of a little four foot walk that goes sure. up. To okay, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's it's inevitably, it. I, I, someone talks to me every time I'm in front of the senior mm -hmm. center and then it's hard to pay attention to. Sure. Good thing. All right, and then I have um, Kestrel's Way, which is in Rogers Grove. Sage, are you still okay with that? Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, great. great. Daniel's on that. Keyhole and Blossom, which is the mural on the spoke. Daniel's been checking on that. Oh, I so you also have that. Great. The um, big thing is making sure that you have that app downloaded got it. and making sure that the feet are still there. That's the big stuff. Um, and then Landmarks in Stephen Day Park. Are you still good with that one? Yeah. Left hands compass, whale, Eve is so good. Um, legacy at the Boulder County Courthouse trees is so good. Listing stones, nature is so good. Um, Locus Amonis is in the back. I'll here. sign up for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Susan got me right away. I love that. It's like one of my favorites. It's the best. It's the best. It, it, it's, Talk about maintenance free. It was always right. the same. Yeah. I've looked at it for several years ago. It was the same. It was in the bathroom. Last um, time, maybe. And two people were talking about it. What is that on the ceiling? I'm like, how could you miss it? <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, okay, and then we have the Longmont mural. Um, Melody, you still good at that one? No. Uh, that one, I, I, I would switch out since it's kind of on a budget. 
Great. It's it has water damage that is what it is. Yeah. But um, I'll send you some pictures. Oh. There's a little bit of graffiti too. You think it's graffiti, but it might just be the signatures of all the people that worked on it. Because when I first saw it, I thought it was graffiti, and then one writer I looked at, it, I said, you know what? I think that's the signatures the of kids, kids that worked on it because it was a group of. Oh, that works. Is it is a graffiti esque? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Um, the next one's the actual one at the library, so I know your name, Michelle. Yes, so that's the train. The train, train, yes. train and then the Jennifer's also on the yeah. Okay. And it was repainted not that long ago, oh. so if it's damaged, you'll know real quick. And then most Arcos need somebody to look after. Yeah. Them. Yeah. All right, There's well, six of them, so they're in all the yes. uh -huh. they have but, uh, invasive vines growing out. Oh, the trumpet vines that are going up the sides are going to be a problem. They will root the armor. Oh, okay. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. They will mm -hmm. root it out. Oh, there are trumpet vines and not vines. The trumpet vines. For sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, I have to go down there um, anyway because of our new tag, so I'll look for that. Um, and then I have Manilda Giraffe. Oh, yeah. yeah. about Sydney's on it and Nettie's on it. Yeah. Um, we have it's the mural in 20th and Hover, oh, Teresa's on it, you see who that? Okay. Um, and then I need somebody, well, do we need Nature's Way? I guess we still need somebody to check out Nature's Way. So the piece that's getting maintenance done on it, does anybody need to check out Nature's Way? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I can go look at it. Yeah, I can go look at it. Yeah, I can go look at it. Eve is still checking on New Dancing Moon. Go be on that one. Recently, yeah. had yeah. 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 so good. On the go, which is at the community center. Pamela, are you still good? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Pedal Power, which is Roosevelt, you still good? Yeah. Yeah. That just got rid of Pedal Power. Yeah. Good. Um, Danielle's looking at Picnic and Love to the Park, which is a big ants. I can do second on that. Yeah. Um, it's in real bad shape. Play by play, which is Kylie, the mural we just completed. I have trees on it. That one we really need to go look at. We should. We resealed it last summer and we did a complete repaint. I was there last summer. Yeah. How was it looking? It looks good. Really? Yeah, awesome. The artist actually pulled me aside and asked me how it looked. I saw it last Sunday, but I didn't. Awesome. No, that's fine. <laughs> No. Well, and really, really, it was really good. Yeah. And really, on the reports, y'all, if, if it's poor, like, just be like, oh my gosh, Angela, and just send me a, <laughs> an email right away. When it's good, like, okay, I should have prepped up. Give me the writer report. That's fine. <laughs> but no, the that's great. You're the sidewalk or where are you? Yeah, that's not surprising. We didn't seal those the same way because we didn't uh, want to okay. pony up for the material on the, if it didn't work. But those but, are my favorite. We'll fix them. Now that we know that our process works, yeah. Good to know. That's great. Um, points of view, I have Sage and Iris on. Yeah. She's so good with that. Okay. Um, I think the only thing with yeah. that one yeah. is there's like a limit to how many files you can put in on the maintenance report. Yes. Last time I did, I, I couldn't get all seven of them on there. Mm -hmm. Um, so I just tried to get the ones that looked the worst. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Right. I did a separate maintenance report for each. Oh, oh I'm not doing that. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> 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 uh, Love it. Yes, perfect. Oh, yeah. For Manilda Giraffe, next time I will only do one for all of us. Yeah, no, it's fine. You do, you do as much as you want to do, please. Um, I have Iris on Prairie Underground. Um, Melanie at Rejuvenation. Did you go to the Dickens for the ocean? Okay. Yeah. I studied going there actually for this <laughs> Oh, nice. It's okay. Uh, Roosevelt on the corner of Kaufman and Long Sahi, which will likely oh, have to come out with the Kaufman Street project, just FYI. Oh, okay. We'll so that likely have to have a conversation about that at some point. Okay. Um, so just so you know, I lost traction of Roosevelt yeah, Conservation is doing that. Just great. Yeah. When they do, when when the Kaufman project actually is underway, yes, um, I know it's gonna 
We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. We'll figure it out. It's gonna have to. It is gonna have to move. It's gonna have to move. Okay. Well, just keep an eye on Roosevelt because he often has he's decorated. Yes. He gets stickers and all kinds of stuff. Well, and in the winter he gets scarves. Yes. <laughs> well, and, and, yeah, right. on Indigenous People's Day. Yeah. Which used to be Columbus Day. I'll probably go and grab a cup of coffee nice and early in the morning and sit there. Yeah, he, got, he, got he tends to get visited, yeah, which, which is weird. Yeah, like, it's okay. yeah, it sounds well. Florida mystery people. Laura, I can second the goose. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna put you first. Uh, awesome. But I go to the, we go to the Civic Center pretty often, so I go check out that weird thing. Um, <laughs> Spirit of Walnut. I, oh, it's great. Right, um, spider at Car Park, I have Patrice and Iris on, which it was recently powder coated to yes. which is good there. Um, Spirit of Lama, I do need to make check out. It's the 119 diagonal, those like the orb with the leaves. It's visual pack, visual. You can like all just across that. Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but you can park on the. Or there's like there's in between. Yeah. I park on the northeast side and just wear boots and watch out for snakes. Yeah, it's gonna say you might just yeah. be safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If there's something real bad, you'll probably be able to see it from afar. <laughs> yeah. Um I have Cindy on the Statue of Liberty. Who was that? Thank you. Um Sunset, I have Pamela and Iris on, which is the hawk of the sandstone. Right, right, yes. Um, Danielle's checking on Take Me Out to the Game, which is also Stan Center Ranch. And that's we, a bad, that, that's it's, a bad shape. It's like not great. Yeah. Kids throw us all that. Literally. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, I think we have any idea how much that would cost to No, but Tony Ortega's alive, so that might be when we sit down and prioritize okay. maintenance for next year. That's a good idea. Um, Lady and the Damsel, I have Jennifer and Melanie on. Yeah, that's that's really good. Really good. I need somebody to check on Thompson's and Ghetto. They are redoing that park. I think it's Thompson's done. Is yeah. anybody live over there? I think it's done. Yes, yeah, Susan. Thank you. I can second that one. I just saw something. All right. And then Jennifer's checking on the new mural on 9th and Alpine. Anybody else want to go over there? No. Yeah. I mean, that's very consistent. Um, Uptown, which is actually oh, now. Okay. Yeah, that's. At, uh, yeah, yeah, just put me on that. That's, that's, that's on 4th Street. Street. Yeah. 4th and Cotton. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes it was I was um, just down there the other day. That looks fabulous. Yeah. Oh, there. It looks really good there. I like it there a lot. I think that's yeah. one of the best locations. Um, and then I have Teresa on Walk of Life, which. Um, one is also going away. That's correct. Place. So the Kaufman Street yeah. one will yeah. obviously be unbelievably can They've held up so well. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, yes, they're on the street. So many thermoplast. Over, and so, but you can still it's, see them. It's really surprising. Surprising. Thermoplast costs a fortune, and it holds up. It's, it's twenty years old, and it holds up. Um, walking on, which is the triangular bike racks in yeah. front of the That's the one. It's it's right outside the library. It's black. It doesn't look. They it, like triangle like bike. They they like it looks like it looks like mountains. Yes. Uh, so let's go to the library. You know, like, like I don't want to be like a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I don't know why it's called Walking Dawn. I think in the collection file it has many names. It does. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> that um, black bike rack. It's called. I have Watch Your Bike. Melanie, do you still go there? This one's super cool. Okay, I'm down to swap it out if anybody wants to check on it, but it does bring me joy, so. Yeah. There's been a bike lock that's been on there yeah, for a while. Was, oh, that's really? Like, I've been worn. So I think it's a worn thing. So my predecessor is an avid biker. I don't think that she just recently retired, and I don't know that she's still in town. That said, they, back in her era, they used to actually hook bikes up to bike racks that 
don't actually look like bike racks to help people understand that they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's like indicating. And it's an indicator. I see. Okay. But once we get to the QR code and we have the whole collection taken care of, then some of those things can go away. And then I have an iris on waterline, which is May. And then I need somebody to go check on Wings of Change, which is near the airport. It's a really cool bird that I really hate to you. say this, but I can do that because the dog park is right there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. good. I can do Wings of Change. Yeah, I'm saying because I love it. That, I love watching the planes. Yeah, that's my channel. Um, but will you maybe take me off as a third on the um, bike to your booth? Yeah. Like, also, yeah, they're having gaps. I don't know if they're going to Okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah, oh, sorry. No, yeah. you're fine. Or whatever. Yeah, it's all good. <clears throat> um, wheels and Wheels, Eve's checking off, which is outside the rec center, and then Sydney checks on Roy's World, which is at the senior center. Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm not going to do it this week because I'm going on vacation tomorrow, but after I am back, I will send you all, all your updates. Okay. What about the paintings in the photographs of San In the Coffin House, yeah. I would say that we rely on our park friends. Yeah. I mean, it's a silver gelatin print. Who knows, who knows what the glass, and it's not in direct sunlight, the other ones are gouache. And they are they're very carefully placed out there. So. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So we just we just see the rope all of the city that we put in that we can see. These are some of the gelatin prints. Oh, because it's half the bed of the number 50. So with that and all of your shop art boxes, that's your over 150 collection pieces. Wow. Awesome. Very interesting. Okay, on um, times. So, yep. Is there any questions? You now, right? All right. New business. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Is another new business? Yeah, it's a. Oh, good. Yeah, 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 yeah new business. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's me, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. My colleagues and I have been working very, very hard on coming up with the what for Art Walk. So just as a refresher, come September, um, it tends to be like lots of cultural and art events. And so we're starting with the Sunset Soiree, which is on Saturday the 7th. And I know that I've called a couple of you and that you are going to get a phone call from me one way or the other. Please come. If you can support the museum, uh, this capital campaign is going to do uh, just so much for our community in the ways that council is prioritized for early childhood, uh, early childhood development, lifelong learning for folks, and it's just our museum is so ambitious and it's going to give us what we need to move this forward. And this sunset story is is what we're hoping, hoping, hoping is actually going to put us over and actually so we can break ground. So you are going to receive a phone call from me, but if you um, can, uh, tickets are on sale until the thirty first of this month. So you have two weeks, and I'm happy to show you or help you purchase tickets or whatever. And it's yummy meal. You get to choose your meal and open bar. And there will be a vitrine with lovely public art display that we are working on very hard right now. And I'll take pictures and bring it to you if you do not come. But um, yes, and then uh, music and all the fun things and a sunset and all the things. It's the first event that they're doing out the courtyard too. So yes. if you come, you will be the first to experience our brand new awesome courtyard. Question about that. Yes. They need sponsors? I'm sure yes. Okay, I had an offer, so I Fantastic. I will, may I have Bated Peters call you? Yes, please. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Also, also, we can have a group and all sit together. So if you're going to go, please let Angela know so we can all sit. Because that might be extra fun. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. Yes. It, yeah, but I have someone to sit with. Okay, awesome. Come and sit with me. Because <laughs> I'm going. 
Yeah. And I will I, I won't have a chair, but I'll be there. <laughs> Should it work? <laughs> I'm <gonna> do it. <laughs> yeah. So then the next thing, so that's Saturday number one. Saturday number two, the 14th of, of September, is our walk, which is I would say arguably our largest outreach event for the museum and our public places because it really is our constituency and it's the folks that we connect with in our community the most and so we have been challenged and also um, have been working with the creative district on coming up with we often do a craft usually it's a take-home thing but there sometimes are community created pieces and sometimes it's well done and sometimes it's not so the uh, exhibitions curator, the education curator, and I have been working on what is a community created objects or thing that everyone can feel a piece and a part of that will translate to social media really well and has a possibility of not looking like throwing spaghetti against a wall equals art at the end of it. That is something like cohesive and intentional and purposeful. So we, are doing the color by numbers. And this is Long's Peak, and this is our, our, our color by numbers. And we have four panels, all of them are 40 by 40. One of them I'm hoping is going to go to the Youth Center and is going to be facilitated by Susie. And each of them is gonna have a different colorway. So imagine Warhol. Like Warhol does Marilyn Monroe in blue, yellow, red, and whatnot. We are doing Long's Peak, and this would be, I would call it the, um, uh, you know, the four uh, uh, national park poster color mid mod, and so then we're playing with colors. Each of them have 10 colors, and so this is number one. And what have we done is we've turned it into this. And so today I spent an hour and a half, um, we projected it onto our. Um, canvas and it's up in my office and I, I didn't, I should text it to myself, send it to myself. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It, it could end up being a little blobby and I think that that's where staff might have to kind of go back in and like clean her up a little bit. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. And so the youth center will have one. Um, we'll have three different colorways, so potentially at the museum and uh, the art walk booth. And then uh, Rhythm on the River then is Saturday the 21st. So we'll have this entire week of art walk, then we'll clean it up a little bit. If all three are done, we'll display them in art walk. If they're not done, we'll do some more painting at um, or Rhythm on the River, rather. Um, so that's the plan. We hope that they look good enough that we might want to be like, have them on display maybe somewhere. But if they don't, we'll take some pictures, put it online, take pictures of people participating, and we'll repaint them white, and we'll do it again next year. We'll work on our process. Um, the creative district and a lot of folks in that arena are like, wow, we really like your idea, how do you do it? And I did my very best in saying, wow, I don't know, because I haven't done this before, but here's, here's how we're going to do it. So I put together a, this is how we do it. Oh, there's a song. <laughs> hey, my how numbers. Big are those squares? How big are they? 40, 40 by 40. So 40 they're fairly, yeah, they're good size. And there's 10 different colors. So, oh, uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Hold on. I cannot do two things at once. Wait for it. So, luckily, there is. Here's the palette. And then uh, here's the palette. Oops, here's the palette in all of the RGB, and it tells me exactly what to buy. So um, yeah, our our team has worked really hard. We've um, messed with this photo, this image, like a lot in Illustrator to to make it not look too blobby. What are the other, are, you said there were four panels, which were gonna each be different. They're same image, four different colorways. So ultimately there'll be 40 colors. So each but panel. You don't, you don't have the image of the other. No, we haven't. Okay. Still okay. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. 
but yeah, if you think of it, it's the Andy Warhol idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so this is what we're going to be doing. And the reason that I tell you this is because we're going to be looking for volunteers, yay, to clean brushes and to be like, kid number six, man, or, you know, like, you're a little kid. You should be doing blue or, you know, whatever. And then some people are really a little bit more um, into it, but slightly more detailed. Maybe they can play with tree zone or whatever. So um, I will be sending out a... Um, volunteer request and shifts and all of those kinds of things. It's all the things set up, it's tear down, it gets dark, we have wagons, we have fun. Usually it's cold. What time? It could be real hot. Four to eight. eight. Four to eight. eight. Yeah. Four to eight. But we'll eat like three, three and then probably not nine. Yeah, so. I can't I actually know that I've done I've already signed up. That's fine. Yep. 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 And then Rhythm on Roosevelt, I can I'll confess I am I'm not doing three Saturdays in a row. I will not. I will not. But the museum will and the museum partners will and they'll need friends too. So if we're painting, we'll know it on the 14th and then I'll let you know. Um, we might just be displaying and it would be volunteers being ambassadors for the program and letting people know. It's gonna be fun. It's always fun. Um, but it's usually very yeah. But it's September, Colorado, you never know. It could be a lot. Uh, so, yeah, any questions about her? Well, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, do, we know, do we know where we're going to be in? I mean, I know it's. No, no, no. So, you can visit me at the Caledonian House. I'll have some of my heart. Oh, oh, yay! I have an only station there. So. Fantastic! Oh. I'm so glad. So, um, Sean McCoy, our friend, his wife, and I can't remember the name, is. Anyway, she's the chair president. Who is it? Maureen? It is. Yes! <laughs> so, she's the uh, president of the Callahan oh, House okay. Board. So, um, yeah, it's really exciting. They're going to have a display. Yeah. Great. Cool, Scott. Yeah. Uh, I'm just showing up. Oh, um, just, yeah, just me. I'm the event, you know. <laughs> Are you? Uh, will you juggle? <laughs> Scott is a very talented artist. Yes. He's got some awesome art. Fantastic. All right, that's all for the business. Yeah. Any other business? No. Is there any report on um, our color meadows? Yep, we're under contract. Um, yeah. The location has been determined, which it already had, had been. Uh, he received his check on what's today? Thursday? Uh, Tuesday? He received his check. Okay. So that means that he just went out and spent a lot of dollars. Right. Um, dollars. Which likely also means, I don't know this, that he is getting his stamped construction drawings, hmm. which then also means chances are as soon as he has those stamped drawings, he'll be coming out. Okay. Yay. Oh, it's like he's a structural yeah. engineering guy kind of for his culture. Well, yeah, I, I require it because we have wind load and snow load, and I refuse, uh, because of past experience, to allow someone to put in a scope of sculpture without a blessed installation. Usually they over engineer, yes, they do. Um, but then, from a liability standpoint, if somebody gets hurt because of the installation, it's not on us. We did not use to require stamped drawings. Um, there might be an instance where we might excuse it, but um, if they do that, we put a conceptual form. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it has to be fabricated to spec, mm -hmm. uh, but usually it's the installation piece of it, and the, and the, wind, the wind load is actually more important than snow. Okay. Any other questions? I uh, when are we gonna do some more vinyl wraps? I know if you weren't you saying we were gonna do six more this year? Yeah, so um, August wasn't or uh, July wasn't very kind to me. So I don't know if I was a little bit no, no, meant yeah. to call you. Uh, but it's summer yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah, there's just nothing good about uh, but yes, so I need to get that task force together to get working. Okay. <laughs> 
help us. I will. No, I just wondered. I, I, I thought you said we were going to do six more. So yes. They're pretty cool. Yes. This well, we have budgeted and are are planning, of course, for the a spring and a fall every year. Okay. Yeah. Great. Good okay. question. Though. Yes, I'll cover it. Uh, do, you Jenny, want, do you want to say anything about the executive committee? I guess executive the, committee is meeting in the fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next month. Yeah. Uh, Danielle has not responded as of yet. We were supposed to meet before now, but also July was not very kind to me, so I had to. Um, but that will be good because the executive committee will meet hopefully after the budget is approved this month. Which Susie, she said, did she say a date when they had the final? CMA. They're reviewing it right now. So I, chances are, I, I've never seen our budget change because we're working out of a special fund balance. We're not dealing with general fund dollars at all. So I don't see any reason we should be concerned about our budget. That said, it's not very responsible to think about making decisions for dollars that you don't actually know that you're about to spend. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's a problem. All right, then. Any commissioner comments? Anybody got anything to say? All right, then I need a motion to adjourn. I say. Yeah. <laughs> you can make a motion to adjourn. That's I fine. move to adjourn. <laughs> and one second. <laughs> All in favor? Uh oh. That doesn't happen every day, but that's all right. Well, in favor? Opposed? Abstention? None? And so we are adjourned at 7.23. Woo!